Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can verify your differentiation and integration answers in the exam. Now, this is only useful for, for verification purposes because you still need to show your working, but you do not, do not get any credit if you don't show working. So that's important to remember. But how do you do the verification? So let's say you've got this function, y equals three over two x squared plus 40 over x, and we find the derivative of that, and the derivative turns out to be this. Now, uh, what you can do in your calculator is, if you look at the top right corner, the second button, after pressing shift, you can press this button to, to access that differentiation function. Now you put, put your function there, three divided by two multiplied by x squared plus 40 divided by x. That's your function. But now the problem is the calculator also asks you for a value of x at which you want the derivative. So your calculator is not going to be able to give you an answer in terms of x, at least the calculators that can give you answers in terms of x, they are not allowed. You're only allowed calculators that can give you some value of the derivative at a particular value of x. So how you can verify your answers is you can put some value of x in this derivative and put that same value in your calculator. For example, if I put x equal to two in this derivative here, I get minus four. Now, if I do the same thing on my calculator, if I say differentiate this function and put value of x equal to two there, and then press the equal button, I can see that that's also giving me a negative four. So it's very likely that my answer is correct because these values at x equals two are matching. Now I would recommend not inputting uh, zero or one there because in those cases you can get uh, the same result by coincidence as well. So put values other than zero and one. Okay, so you can put two here for instance and since it matches, it pretty much ensures that your uh, final answer is correct. You can do something similar for integration as well. So let's say you wanted to integrate this function. Again, uh, your calculator is only going to be able to do it uh, when you have some limits. It cannot give you the integral in terms of x. It can't give you this result, but it can give you the final result after inputting the limits. Now, again, this is useful for verification because if you don't show this working, writing down the answer uh, only is not going to be helpful. So how do you verify this? If you want to do this, you have this integration button. Again, the same button, the top uh, top right, uh, second button from top right. Let's input that function here, 36 multiplied by two X minus three whole raised to power negative two. We want to integrate this function and what are the limits? Limits are from two to three. Let's input those limits and you can see the result that I'm getting from that is 12, and that's the same answer that I'm getting from here as well. So that's extremely useful for verification at the end. Uh, you can check if there's any careless error in your working uh, by checking if your final answer is turning out to be the same as the calculator is giving you. All right, and that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you find if you found this video helpful, make sure that you share with others as well so that more, more people can benefit. You can also find a lot of other helpful content on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you have a look uh, at, at that content as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this later on uh, later, later as well. I'll see you again in another video. I love this.